Hi everyone, and welcome back for another episode in my Unreal Engine 4 tutorial videos. In this video, we're going to work on the mobility of our game and include a jump pad. So allowing the player to jump onto a certain location and allow them to be launched into the air. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a, first of all a whole new object and that is going to be our jump pad. So go to add new in the content browser and choose a blueprint class. We might make it an actor because it isn't going to move or have any special AI or anything like that. And I'm going to call this one jump pad. Open it up. And in the component list we're going to add two components. The first component is going to be a static mesh. And with it selected, go to the right hand side and we're going to choose a mesh for our button. Now for placeholder, I'm just going to use a cylinder. With that there, I can now squash it, make it more button like. Like so. I'm going to add another component and this one is going to be a box collision. I'm going to squeeze this and move it on top of the button. Click compile and go to your event graph. In my event graph, I'm going to click on my component for my box collision. This is going to be our trigger volume. So with it selected, right click into our blueprint and type in begin overlap. And your top option on this list will be add on component begin overlap. Choose this. And you should see in brackets on this event the name of the mesh of the um the collision box here and what this does it means it will trigger as soon as that this mesh is collided or overlapped with so first things first we need to check our other actor is actually the player so from other actor cast to first person character and this will be the name of the actor that is your player's character so in this case for me it is called the first person character for you, it may well be something else. So, what this will do, it will take the generic other actor and convert it into the first person character if it's successful. It will only be successful if this is already a first person character. If it's successful, from here, we're going to take to launch the character. Now, the character to be launched needs to be plugged in. So, from as first person character, drag this out and into target. The launch velocity though will come from our first person character's character movement component. So I'm going to move this over, give myself some space, then as first person character, first person character drag this out and type in get character movement. And at the bottom you'll see the blue character movement node. From that pin, we can then get the jump Z velocity. And because it's a jump pad, I'm going to give some boost to it. So I'm going to multiply this by another float and I'm going to enter 3. The launch velocity, I'm going to right click on and split it to get access to my individual floats. And we want the launch velocity in the Z. Plug this in and connect it to our other float with from the multiplication. We then want to do the Z override and tick that on. And the reason why we want that is because we don't want it to cancel out the downward force. We want it just to overwrite it. If we were to do this without any overriding, it will just counteract any downward force that currently exists and therefore kind of not give it the same sort of boost we want every time. This on means it will give it the same boost every time. Click compile. And we can close that and it's put into our world. So there's my button, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And when I jump on it, I get launched into the air. So whenever I enter this volume, I'm going to get launched into the air. And there you have it, a jump pad. If you enjoyed this video and learned something from it, make sure to subscribe for future videos and future content. If you like what I do and want to support me in this endeavour, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey, where just one dollar will get access to videos a bit nice and early before everyone else, as well as access to Discord and many other benefits. A big shout out to everyone who supported me thus far, 
and a massive uh, thank you to all those at the top tier patrons. Thank you so much for all your support. You guys are making it closer and closer for me to turn into a, a full-time job. And I can't wait to give you more videos in the future. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.